Right now is Fabio, on, who is going to. <laughs> Fabio is fabulous. He is going to whip up a, just for you guys and for you, but special, special because it's vegan. And right. we're not yes. going to put cheese in it. No, for them. no, no, no. The one that is actually is coming out. We have some uh, risotto Risot verde, verde mean green in Italian. Please bring it in. Yeah. Yes. And the one I made for you has no cheese in it, so there. it's a one thousand percent vegan. Okay. So the story, the story behind this dish is besides risotto being a good Italian traditional dish, it's also green, not necessarily from a color perspective, but green because the way we used to do it, we used to have a little piece of land and grow in our own garden. And sometimes when you have a leafy vegetable and you don't pick them right away, they kind of wilt a little bit, maybe some bugs get to it. So instead of throw them away- The bugs? You, yeah, this snail or something. <laughs> Trust me, in America today is a luxury when a snail eat your food. Because really? there is a lot of pesticides, yeah. there is a lot of oh, bad yeah. stuff yeah. around, so it's actually really good to have a bug or two on your salad. But besides okay. that, <laughs> a, a, bu bug? a bug or two, yes. Oh, okay, a bug or two, okay. Right? Buggers. Well, if you think about it, if a snail doesn't want to eat your food, why would you want to eat that? That's true. Yeah, why? That's true. <laughs> Can I eat this? I've been so what is, what is the story? What are we going to be eating here? Yes, so, <laughs> am I still vegan if I eat bugs? No. Well, bugs eat... La salad, so I guess bugs is vegan, yeah. but that's all right. Yeah. Bugs, no, yeah. we have a spinach and parsley there with some uh, uh, vegetable broth, and that's it, and some extra virgin olive oil. It's oh. really good. Yeah. Is yeah. there a story behind the dish? The story is that we used to get, collect all the scrap from our garden, which makes it green, braise them, and make risotto with oh, it. I see. So right here, we have the base for risotto. Risotto is very good when you build the layers of flavor. So we have white onion, we have celery, and we have some garlic. Then, I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. And I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg. Nutmeg for a little earth tone. Nutmeg is a very good, uh, very good spice. Very, nutmeg is what we find more commonly in eggnog. Yes. One of the things America I know loves, but a little touch of nutmeg in your risotto makes a very, very good flavor. Good oh. addition. Oh, God, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. The secret. There's a secret? There is a secret behind risotto. Because let's be realistic, America. If you cannot stand in front of the stove and stir a pot like this. For 20 minutes. For, for 10 minutes. Oh, no. You have no business in the kitchen. Seriously, guys. <laughs> okay, that's what I, I hope you either are well off and can hire private chefs or Give up risotto altogether. <laughs> yeah, but I no. was always taught that you have to stand there and, and, and turn the risotto and then add more broth or add more Yes, it's stock. a little, guys, come on, it's a little labor. America got very lazy. Oh. So comfort, I understand. Laziness in food, I don't. Okay. So if you gotta just add a little stock and just stir it, I mean, same things. You gotta take a shower every day. You gotta wash your hair. Right. You gotta brush right. your back. Every day? Every day. Twice a day. You have to brush your back? You gotta brush your back. What wow. kind of shower are you How guys taking? Why? <laughs> I got no hair. I'm a hairless Italian. Okay. All right. <laughs> so then what you wanna do, because the risotto has grain in it, there, there's, you know, a little grain or rice. It will be very easy for these to absorb the oil and the moisture released from the vegetable in it. So you cook your risotto for a minute or two, and the technique that you want to have is, see the steam? Uh-huh. Always add the hot broth. Why? Because if you add cold one, it's going to stop the cooking time, and your risotto is going to be mushy, and it's going to not be creamy. It's going to be gummy? It's going to be gummy. Yeah. It's going to okay. be yuck. And oh, we yuck. don't want to yuck a risotto. Yuck. No. The other things you want to do is not add too much. Because okay. while you can add a little bit more if it's still too al dente, you can take it away once you put it there. Mm. Makes sense? So you yeah. risk to overcook your risotto. Let me and ask you about the risotto. The, it, there's a difference between rice and then the rice for the uh, risotto. There is a, yes, correct. Okay. There, is a lot of, there is a lot of different kinds of grains. There is a long grains, short grains, arborio, carnaroli, wheat grains. The only, one of the few qual, uh, variety of rice specific for risotto is arborio or carnaroli. Very uh, widely available and in the grocery store. That? They're rounder, they have a little bit more natural starches in it, and they're creamier when they cook. Mm. So the final touch that we're gonna do, once the, uh, the, the, the stock is almost reduced, what we do, we're gonna add, in our case, we're gonna add spin fresh spinach to it. Mm. 
And please do a trip to the farmer's market, guys. Don't buy your yeah. veggies and your stuff at a store where next to a salad there is a pair of shoes and some deodorant. Go, yeah. at, a, go at a farmer's market. Just let's support the local and just eat right. Am yeah. I right? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Absolutely. so it's a good for a family. Then we're gonna stir it. Now in our case, in our case, before we serve it, I'm gonna add a little bit of Grana Padano cheese. Grana Padano is one of the king of Italy. Yeah. It's, it's a very mellow, uh, mild, kind of hard grating cheese. And these will create a creamier consistency for my rice. More without... than, than uh, Parmesan? The... Yes, yeah, I, I prefer Grana Padano to my risotto. Okay. It's just add an extra layer of creaminess without the use of butter or any heavy cream. So, like that, what Christine. Kind of broth yes. Vegetable broth in this case, if you like to add uh, some, you know, you can add some chicken stock if you prefer, or water if you don't want any broth. But, you know, vegetable broth by being a vegetable dish to begin with right. is the best option for you. Can I serve you a little bit? I have some cheese, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. All right, Christina. I, I just love it, you know, eat this with some prosciutto and wine and yeah. yes. little grapes. Yeah. I'm happy. All right, let me serve you that. Mm. Yeah. So, and then... Right, you guys, by the way, the sample, so you good? good? Excellent. Mm -hmm. nice. The yeah. final yeah. things, the it's a little bit of lemon good. zest. Yes. Lemon zest? Lemon zest. Little extra cheese. Yes, please. I was going to do it for you. It's so good. Lemon That's it. Zest. Oh.